And the state's new emergency shelter is filling up fast. The new plan for families staying there as more people move in. And the suspect in a local murder back on the run after escaping police in Africa. Here's a look at today's top stories. The search is back on for Kevin Kengete. He's accused of killing his girlfriend Maggie and B2, leaving her body in a car here at Logan Airport and then taking off on a plane to Kenya. The 40 year old was arrested last week after about three months on the run. Authorities in Kenya say police let him out of his cell to meet with a man claiming to be his lawyer when he slipped out of the police station and into a private minivan. The officers who were on duty at the time have been arrested. In, at Logan Airport, on a Myler, WBZ News. The emergency temporary shelter set up here at the Melnia Cass Rec Center is nearly full after almost a week of being open. It has the capacity to fit up to 100 families, around 400 people. Dozens of children living here have already been placed in local schools, and the state is processing work authorizations for adults. But the mayor says some families are struggling to make enough money still to move out of the shelter. The state says that they are evaluating other places for temporary shelters like this one, but they did not say when or where those would open. In Roxbury, Katrina Kincaid, WBC News. Today, the Supreme Court will start to hear arguments on whether or not former President Donald Trump is even eligible to run for office. This comes after the Colorado Supreme Court ruled that Trump would be removed from the state's primary ballot for violating the 14th Amendment's insurrection clause on January 6th. Meanwhile, Trump's legal team argues that Trump is technically not an officer of the United States, and they deny that he ever took part in any insurrection. The state of Maine has also removed Trump from its primary ballot. I'm Penny Commit, WBZ News.